Why is it that when we turn to the problem of values, that this is where the most blatant mistakes are made? Yes, the area of value is where the most blatant inconsistencies occur because it is impossible for an atheist to live as though there were no objective moral values and duties. For example, Friedrich Nietzsche, the great 19th century atheist, broke with his mentor, Richard Wagner, precisely over the German uh, composer's anti-Semitism and strident German nationalism. Similarly, Jean-Paul Sartre, writing in the aftermath of the Second World War, declared that a doctrine that leads to the mass extermination of Jews and other peoples is not just a matter of an arbitrary choice, but uh, is really morally reprehensible and unacceptable. Bertrand Russell admitted that he could not live consistently with his own views. He was an outspoken social critic, denouncing war and restrictions on sexual freedom. Even a person like a Richard Dawkins is an unabashed moralist, even though Dawkins says that if there is no God, there are, is no good, there's no evil, there's nothing but pitiless indifference. Nevertheless, his books are filled with indignant, moral condemnations of practices like harassment of homosexuals, religious indoctrination of children, practice of human sacrifice. All of this is inconsistent. It shows that one cannot live happily as though objective moral values and duties do not exist. Yeah, let's pick that up too in terms of objective moral values. Here you have atheists saying that they have these objective moral values, whatever they choose to, to be, but they're inconsistent. And living without God has uh, some grave consequences. You were watching a BBC commentary wow. one time on the Holocaust. Tell me about that. In this BBC documentary, they interviewed survivors of Auschwitz, and one nurse was forced to become the gynecologist at Auschwitz. And she described how Mengele, the doctor there, grouped these pregnant women into a certain barracks by themselves. After a time, she no longer saw any of these women, and she made inquiries. What happened to the women who were housed in that barracks? And the response was, oh, haven't you heard? Dr. Mengele used them for vivisection. He cut them open, alive. Um, and if there is no objective moral value, then you cannot condemn such an action as wrong. There was a rabbi interviewed who was imprisoned at Auschwitz who said it was as though all of the moral commandments had been reversed. Thou shalt kill, thou shalt lie, thou shalt steal. And mankind has never seen such a hell. And yet, in a very real sense, if God does not exist, then our world is Auschwitz. There is no good and evil. There is no right and wrong. There is just the bare, valueless fact of existence. And no atheist can live consistently within the framework of such a worldview.